What are these metal structures found in the Italian Alps near Marmolata? It was about 3 meters tall. And we saw a few of these on the side of the mountain. Any idea what are these and their purpose? It's a remote avalanche control system called Obelex. The system is built by the French company and consists of a removable capsule filled with oxygen and hydrogen tanks. The two gases can be remotely mixed and ignited to create a concussive blast. The blasts can trigger avalanches to remove unstable snow or confirm the pack is settled and safer to drive near. What is this thing I found on the beach? It's made of metal and smells like iron. Slightly larger than a quarter and has no visible writing. On one side it has a faded design. In the corner, there is a hole which I assume was for a rope or cord. I found this on a beach in Minnesota on the north shore along Lake Superior. I don't know the age, it seems older because of the amount of rust. I've tried Google, and nothing comes, as I thought it was jewelry or a tag for a wine bottle. Any ideas? This very much looks like the corner of an old cast iron hinge. Before modern mass production, and especially in the Victorian era, lots of pride was taken in the creation of household hardware, and hinges were often adorned with floral or geometric designs. What is this metal structure on Orange Beach Peleliu Palau? Large rusted blackish steel object with no electronics and has a large metal post in the center. The post diameter is about 3 feet. An umbrella-like structure attached and overhanging the post. We asked a few locals, but none of them exactly know. Although they believe it is some sort of World War II leftover equipment. There are more recognizable objects here, such as World War II tanks, whose level of deterioration and whose metal composition is seemingly identical to this thing. Any ideas? It is a very decayed pillbox the Japanese built during World War II. The first U.S. invasion forces to land on Peleliu came ashore at Orange Beach on September 15, 1944. Resulted in the highest casualty rate of any amphibious assault in American military history. We found this antique leather piece in an old collection. The original owner was related to a Civil War saddlemaker. The back has made in France and fate main stamped on it. It's a leather loop with buckles screwed to a block of wood. We've taken it to antique shops and nobody knows what it is. What is this thing? It's a crupper, a piece of tack used on horses and other equids to keep a saddle and harness or other equipment from sliding forward. I found this old finger-sized object in an old house. Looks kinda like a small shovel. It's very light, with almost no heft to it, and its point is very sharp. The whole thing has pits and is quite mottled and rusted, if that is the right term for the damage it sustained. Any idea what it is? It's the striker from a garden-themed wind chime that uses a miniature watering can as the suspension point for the chimes. I have one, minus technically the weight connected to the striker, but close enough. Give it 50 more years and it will be antique. What is this gas and electric powered thing built to a wall near a stream in the gates of an old estate? About 2.5 meters tall iron and maybe aluminum, and a small reinforced glass window at the top. It's about 5 yards from the entrance to an old estate, and about 10 yards from a stream. It has a chunky metal pipe made of something that doesn't rust, and some decrepit wiring inside, and is open at the base behind the wall. What is this thing? It's an old glass top fuel pump, circa 1920s. You'd literally pump the fuel up into the glass part until it reached a point on a measuring stick, and then drain it down into the car's tank. Maybe intended for boats if it's near a waterway. What is this small metal hand tool? About 5 inches or 12.5 centimeters long. Found in a drawer that the parents were clearing out but they don't recognize it. Made of metal and possibly silver or silver-plated, given the tarnish look. The handle end is surprisingly weighty, and has a cute little flower pattern engraved into it. The non-handle end has a kind of triangular cross-section to it, and has a curved tip, although we're not 100% sure if it's deliberately curved, or whether it got bent that way over the years. Does anyone know what it is? It's a nut picker from the 1930s, used to get the meat out of cracked nuts. They usually come in a set with a nutcracker. 
What is this old metal thing found at Goodwill? This thing looked really old, and those handles moved around. There is a little TV, and it plugs into the wall. There is a little compartment with some garbage inside. It's maybe 10 inches tall and then 6 to 8 inches square. What is it? It's a biofilm splicer from the 1960s. It's either an 8mm or a Super 8 film splicer. The large backlit magnified screen displays a film image. The folding arms on either side hold reels of the film being viewed or edited, with a hand crank on either side to position the frame. It comes with a built-in slide-out film cutter splicing tool mounted in front. I used to fix these in the projectors back in the day. Not my best career choice. I went from that to fixing typewriters. Couldn't seem to win for a while there. What is this hole in a brick wall on the front porch of a house I saw today? About one brick wide and tall. Appears to have a concrete base leading directly into the porch. Found in an area with lots of brick porches. But this is the only house I've seen with this hole. Found in central Indiana. Any ideas? That's a scupper. Back before the porch was closed in. It was a way for rain to get off the porch. What is this vintage appliance found in the kitchen in a listing of an Oregon home that is up for sale? The owner is a collector of dolls, so it may not be a kitchen appliance, but it is in the kitchen. It looks to be in two parts, and the top part may sit on a base. There is some sort of gauge on the front of the top part. The kitchen has other vintage appliances. I was thinking it might be a clothing press. Any idea what it is? The item is a kitchen device, a 1950s-era Nesco cooker with stand. A similar item without the stand is still made. It's often seen for sale prior to Thanksgiving, because a turkey can easily be roasted in it. I received this vintage wooden artifact that is supposed to be the earpiece of an old telephone. I do not have more info about it. I have been diving into image archives, and I found a lot of vintage phones with a separate earpiece. But none of them have that two little brass with plus minus connectors. So it got me wondering, is this actually a piece of a telephone, or is it something else? At the bottom, there is a sort of membrane. But I have no idea what material that is. Does anyone have a suggestion about what age this object is? Please leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.